the clinch knot has been a tried, tested, and proven knot over the many, many years. My go-to knot for streamers and larger style nymphs that don't require such a delicate presentation. I'll use these typically on any nymphs, maybe size 12 and larger, um, and then also on all my uh, streamer patterns as well. So to go through this step by step, I'm going to be using some hackle pliers and some three weight fly line for demonstration purposes. Uh, this representing the eye of the hook. Um, and to get this one started, um, I've actually found, you know, going th through the top um, of the hook eye um, is a bit better just to the, just because of the way I've been tying this fly and the way my, my hands and fingers work. Um, by all means, if you think it's easier for you to go through the top, you can do that as well. Um, but for me, I like to go through the bottom of the hook eye, bring over my tag end, and then what I'll do is with my left hand, I'll just kind of cinch this down to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna start wrapping over the main line um, five to six times uh, for this demonstration and because of the thickness of this line, I'm just gonna do it three times. So again, just to bring it back up, we're gonna come through the bottom of the hook eye, I'm gonna cinch down this with my left, and then I'm gonna go over this main line three times, my third, and then I'm gonna bring the tag end through the loop that I've been holding in my left. And at this, at this point, you can grab the tag end and then cinch it down. And that is your standard clinch knot. So we'll go through it one more time. Let me straighten this out. So I'm gonna go through the bottom of the hook eye. Cinch down this these two pieces with my left. I'm gonna go wrap around three times. And then I'm gonna go through that through that little loop and then cinch it down. So let's take a look at what this actually looks like on a real fly pattern um, and some real tippet. So in just gathering it here now, I'm gonna be using, um, this is your standard 4X, uh, which is a six pound tippet and I think I have here a size 12 or 14 uh, woolly bugger pattern. And I'm gonna try to move in a little bit closer for you here. And I'm gonna go through the hook eye, grabbing my left fingers so I'm holding it like that. And then I'm gonna go around five times. So that's two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna go through that little loop I've been holding on my left hand. Grab your tag end. And now you can cinch down. You do want to moist this um, with some uh, saliva before you cinch it down. Remember, if you start pulling on this too fast or too tight, you will burn it, um, which will make it weaker, which is what you don't want. So you just want to moist that with saliva before you start to cinch that down. And then as you start to pull the main, the main line, it's going to start to cinch it all together. There you go. Then you can nip off your tag end. And there is your standard 
clinch knot. Anyways, hope you learned something. Uh, best of luck in the water. Cheers.